So just a standard tuning here, we have E, A, D, G, B, E, and I'd say three different little progressions here, uh, not too dissimilar from each other. Um, the initial one, uh, I'd say a little bit uh, cleaner, maybe not as quite heavy on like the overdrive and all that, but um, essentially we're gonna do two chords kind of twice. So we start with this B7 look, and it'll be second fret on the A, we just want to do a couple of the bass notes by themselves, so just a couple of those. And then we just strum through part of this B7. It's basically just that 2A, the 4D, and a 2 on the G. And you hit it, and the strumming on it is like strum, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 1, 2. So it's like... that type of deal. And we'll take that same strum, and now we move over to the next chord, which is a G major seven. So uh, basically we have our G power chord, so the three on the E with the five on the A, but then we add this four on a D. Okay, and like I said, it's that same type of strum. So we'll hit the bass notes, just a couple of those, and then one, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two. The kind of little hitch with this one is that we'll go through it once just like that, that G. And then the second time through, we basically take it all the way up until those final two strums of the bop bop at the rear end. All right, and instead of doing those final two strums, we just do this little transitional uh, F sharp note or G flat note here at the two of the E. All right, it's just a little little hit there just before we start the whole thing over. So it'd be. Okay. All right, and then we just get right back to our V7. All right, and we just cycle that whole thing uh, throughout at least half of the song there. And once everything gets big and kicks in, then we'll kind of split up into two different progressions. The first one, we'll go through a couple times here, and it stays on the B, but it's like a big B sus2 now, so uh, it'll be the 2A, 4 on the D and G, and then a 4 on the B. And at this point, you know, we're getting more dynamic with it, or just bigger, so you can kick on a little more overdrive, or just like strum it harder, up to you. And with this one, we just go through each chord just kind of once, and the strum on it, it's like one, one, two, three, four, one, one, two, three, four, five. So that type of feel. All right. And then we switch to another G, but it's just a G sus two. So instead of that uh, three, five, four look, it's um, if you really wanted or cool with the stretch, you can do it like this where you do like three E five on the A for that power chord and then get the sus two note by getting the uh, seven on the D, which if you can stretch that, it's cool. But if you're not cool with that, then you can do more of this like open style where we'll hit the three E, just kind of mute the A by, you know, lightly having that three E note finger touching it a bit. And then we'll have an open D and then the two on the G. So you can do that up to you, whichever is easier for you. I'll stick with this open style here. So uh, same type of strum as the previous chord. All right, and it's got that same same kind of dynamic as before where like we'll go through it twice, but at the end of the second time, we kind of like cut that second chord short and switch to a different chord. So um, with this one, uh, basically we would cut that, that G sus two strum, like we would do the first bop, Ba -da -da -da. Then we pull off to E sus2, so just uh, open E, two on the A with a four on the middle D, and uh, that sus2 note, that four in the middle D, it, seem, it seems pretty faint, but I think it's there, so if you don't like it, you can just do like a regular power chord. And it's that same kind of finishing strum, the one, one, two, three, four, five. All right, so. OK, 
okay, that type of deal. So it just kind of alternates that ending every other time. And the last progression, uh, it starts at that G sus2, so the three with the muted A, open D, two on the G, same type of strum. Then comes off to the E, so the open E, two A, four D there, and just does a full uh, measure of that uh, strum. Goes back to the G, does half of the E, and then the finishing chord here is an A sus2. So we'll have open A, two on the D and G, and an open B. At the very end of the song, there's uh, maybe just like a faint like keyboard thing going on. Maybe it's a guitar, but uh, just kind of these arpeggiated notes here. So uh, if you want to do that, it's just this. It's a uh, high E. We go three, two, open, then go two on the G. Okay, then it does high E, three, two, three on the B, two to G, back to three B. Mm -hmm. 